Hey guys, welcome back to Puff It Louda, and welcome back to Steam Prison, where we're facing an incredibly sad adage and a really bad dinner. <laughs> well, the dinner was good, but the results were bad. Um, I also feel like Glissade must have poisoned the food or something. Like, I feel like Karima should go take the medicine right now, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's go. His voice was kind when he thanked me, but Adage looked like he was about to cry, and I couldn't feel happy. Both the father and the son are healthy, but they can't find common ground. Why isn't Glissade here for him? Nobody was there to respond to my questions. The silent night passed them back to me unanswered. Silent night, holy night. Okay, ahem. <laughs> After the day of the dinner, Adage began to brood. Brood. He confined himself to the house and took no patience, much less went out to see them. I thought it appropriate when it lasted for a day or two, but... It's been a week already. Jesus! He never stepped outside the house. Either he was eating or he was reading. I was beginning to worry. There's no food left here. We need to get supplies. Adage, can I talk to you? Nanda. We're out of supplies. Shall we go buy some? I thought it'd be a good change of pace for him. Well, Adage threw me a little pouch with coins and retreated again. I see. I'm worried for him, but there's nothing I can do. He was the shadow of his former self. I felt reminded of how I had been early in my time in the deaths. The heights had exiled me, I'd lost Raelith and Merlot. I'd felt like everything had run through my fingers and disappeared. My powerlessness had frustrated me and filled me with grief. Back then, Adage saved me and helped me remember who I am. I needed to return the favor somehow. I have to do this. At the very least, I need to be positive around him. I took a deep breath and threw him a bright, see you later, and then I left the house. Maybe too bright right there, but outside, it was bright and I squinted. The weather is good today. The atmosphere inside the house had become heavy and stifling. I want to see him smile again. I thought about it more as I walked towards the sanctuary district. The marketplace was bustling. Nobody here gave any thought to our troubles. I pushed my way through the crowd to buy supplies. Many knew me as the doctor's wife, and they asked me about him. Excuse me? Adaju-san,だよ,Adaju-san. Oh, yes, that's right. あんたの旦那に世話になってる人結構多くてね。Wait, what about the pregnant lady? Oh god, the pregnant lady. そのせいでたくさんの食料と引き換えにハウンズから薬をもらってるのもいてさ、見てらんないよ。That's bad. で、どうなんだいアダージュさんの調子。具合でも悪いのかい? I don't know. He rarely leaves the bedroom and doesn't talk much. 本当かい? あんな性格だ。あんたを <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Finally, I was able to buy the goods I wanted from her, nodded, and left. Single parents. Raelith was the same, wasn't she? A divorce. That meant leaving Adage and living alone. I can't do that. I need to make sure he recovers from this. But, yes, a lot of people need him to work. I had to tell Adage that. Yes, go smack some sense into him. I had to go to several different shops, and time passed so quickly. Adage is probably hungry. I put my hand on the doorknob, but my eyes drifted to the vegetable garden. Oh, the tomatoes. I'd forgotten about them. 
Half of them are brown and wilted. I'm sorry, I forgot about you. I put the bag down in front of the door, crouched low, and began removing the leaves and the tomatoes on the ground. <gasps> A lizard emerged from the plants. You're doing that on purpose, aren't you? I was afraid, but it wasn't bad as it used to be. I didn't scream. You won't buy and you you won't bite and you can't fly. Adaji said that. The lizard stuck his tongue out and didn't move. Is it thinking? Can it think? I couldn't tell. Its expression didn't budge. And then... Oh, it left. Feeling a little disappointed, I stood up. Maybe it wanted to know how I'm doing. But probably not. Oh, flowers. They're beautiful. I looked at the flowers and felt a little happier. I picked a few of them. Then, stealing myself, I picked up the bag as well. All right, in I go. Slowly, I open the door. I'm sorry it took so long, Adage. I listened. Nobody answered me. Oh God, please don't tell me he like killed himself or something. God. No response, huh? I'm used to that by now. I sighed and set everything down on the table. I put the flowers into a cup with some water and set it down on the table as well. All right, that looks quite nice. Next, I put the supplies I had bought away. First, I need to sort everything into perishables and non-perishables. I put the things that would last to the back of the cupboard and those that wouldn't in the front. All right, now I need to make dinner. Not that I'm very good yet, but... Oh, Adashi! Yushoku. Adage, mumbling, opened the cupboard. He took out the food I had put away and lined it up on the table. He holds up in there, but shows up for dinner every time. It was our only time together, save for sleeping. We hadn't even talked yet, but seeing him was reassuring. <laughs> Lately, he never strikes up a conversation himself, does he? I began to talk about what happened to break the ice. A lot of people at the market were asking about you. They're worried because they haven't been able to have you look at their health problems. <laughs> Some of them are beginning to take supplies from the hounds. It's starting to be rough for them. Dakara. So, uh, are you going to see the patients again? Totemoi. Okay. You have to. The people are suffering. Doctors have to help those that are suffering, right, Adage? Totemoi inda. Oh my god. I'm not going to. You're my- Taisetsuna. Adaju stopped working on our dinner and looked at me. His piercing glare made it difficult for me to speak. He walked up to me and I tried to step back. The wall. My back hit the wall and Adage leaned forward. I was between his arms. My escape was blocked off. Jesus, depression. God. Unworthy. But, no. I refuse. I can't leave you alone right now. Oh, picture get. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude! Don't scream! Unwanted? Don't call yourself unwanted! Oh, yes! I slapped him in a fit of rage. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this really about your father? You are who you are, Adage. Maybe Glissade is the reason you came down here, but is that all that matters to you? It's not, right? Are you alive just to be validated by him? You're not. Otherwise, you wouldn't have rescued me. 
You hired me as your assistant even though I couldn't do anything. Just because I was in trouble. You know how you're supposed to live. You kn you're supposed to save others. Isn't that a worthy life? I'm alive in here because of you, Adage. You saved my life. Don't deny who you are. That you saved me. だめなんだよ。俺は。わかるけど。わからないんだ。捨てるには父さんの存在は。あまりにも大きすぎる。過去に囚われて。囚われたままで。断ち切れそうにない。だから。とどまるしかない。God, you can't just decide that for me. I'm like in shock. Hadaje put his hand on my cheek and traced it gently. This is. He gave me a tender kiss and drew back. He did not just do that. Adaje put a pouch on the table and turned around to end the discussion. Punch him! <laughs> do I really have to leave? Was I really unable to heal his wounds? I'm powerless. It's ridiculous. I couldn't stay. It was clear. I had to leave. Okay. I put my hand on his back, hoping he would understand. Thank you for everything, Adagio. You did so much for me. Sayonara. You... <laughs> he did not just do that. Oh my god, he's an idiot. Oh my god, he's an idiot, guys. I'm seriously so... I'm struggling. I'm like so close to crying. I'm so angry. I don't know how to feel. Oh god. Oh. Oh, calm down, I need to voice him. Just, mm. The door closed and silence reigned. Supplies were scattered on the table. They were just sitting there. I had already forgotten what I had been trying to make. But I also had no energy to put it all away again. I sighed. I poured myself water into a cup and drained it. Breathing. Movement. Everything seemed so much louder. I sat down on a chair and looked around. There was a cup with three flowers on the table. Flowers wilted quickly if they were pulled out. What was the point of it? I reached out and touched the flowers. The water rippled inside the cup and I sighed. But now, after the time I'd spent with her, being alone felt wrong. Hisashiburi 
I had never felt before felt so fulfilled, so happy, so content before. I touched my cheek where she had slapped me. It still stung a little and felt warm. Yeah, exactly. だからこそ。一緒にいてはいけないんだ。俺は空っぽだから。俺ができるのは誰かを意する<笑> 虚無だ。こんな状態の俺は彼女の重荷になる。悲しませたくない。だから一緒にいてはいけない。なんでだ。あんたがドアを開けて入ってきてくれないかと期待してしまう。追い出したのは俺なのにな。俺。バカだな。Yes。本当に大切なことは分かっているはずなのに一歩も動けないなんて。クイムコンバック。バカなのは俺だ。あ、アダジュ先生。よかった。いらしたんですね。違ったか。Oh god. The door opened and a man stood there with a small girl. I remembered her. I'd been treating her for half a year already. おしかけるのもどうかと思ったのですが、最近いらしていただけないので、この子の席が止まらないんです。見ていただけませんか？この通りです。お金はあまりありませんが、出せるだけ持ってきました。だから分かった。見てやる。<laughs> the two came inside and I got to work. どうでもいいと思ったのに、結局医者から離れられないのか。俺の生きがいか。Oh my God, my heart! I'm like literally. Crying. <laughs> I'm like stupidly crying over this fucking idiot. Oh, cream will go back. I went to the main road first, but what now? I had nowhere to go. I have money, but it's not like there are inns here. I don't know anybody who'd let me sleep in their house either. Oh, yeah. Kimiwa. No! The last person I want to see ever. Hope you slap him in the face, Kremu. Glissade. こんなところで会うなんて奇遇ですね。何をしているんですか? Well, that's a little. I said nothing. I didn't want to tell him. 事情はわかりませんが、何やらお困りのようですね。君は顔に出やすいですから、感情はすぐにわかります。I'm uh, looking for a place to sleep and can't find one. ははは。面白い冗談ですね。保護地区に宿なんてあるはずないじゃないですか。God, a dage. I thought there were. ええ。まあ、重労働者向けの集合住宅ならありますけど。君をあんなむさくらしい場所へ案内はできません。A dage, you literally might have killed us. Oh, she shit. Fuck. Ah. 困っているなら私の元へ来ませんか? No, no, please, Kremu, no. With you? Eh. 
ハウンズの宿舎は常に空室がありますからザクセン君に頼んであげます No, no, no I don't really want his help though おや<笑>そうでしたねでは治療室のベッドを使うといいです That's even worse Okay, we're gonna stop here This is about to get really fucking bad Oh god, we have a fight with Adage And I didn't expect him to kick us out And now we're Oh god, it's so bad It's so bad Oh, I'm like having like, <laughs> like Stressing Oh god Cravo, no! I'm so, I'm so deep into the story at this point. Anyway, next episode, I guess we'll fucking try our best and hope that we don't get murdered in our sleep because I feel like being in the same room as a person who collects body parts from women and children is not a great idea. Yeah.